So in the back of our U-Haul truck, there's a couple of different things that you need to know about uh, if you're gonna use to tow a tiny house on wheels. And again, ours is a 10,000 pound house. Uh, so a 20 foot U-Haul truck has no problem pulling it. All the important stuff is back here on the back of the truck. The back of our, this is again, the back of our U-Haul truck. So on the back of the U-Haul truck that we have, there's actually two different kinds of connectors. There's a four pin and a seven pin. The four pin is only for uh, brake lights, that's it. The seven pin is for brake lights, backup lights, um, and your braking system inside your trailer wheels. Then this, the seven pin connector, goes in right here. <laughs> inside your truck, you're actually gonna need a braking system. So the braking system is called a brake controller. This is actually the brake controller we use. It is the Prodigy P2. I think it was an $80 brake controller. And again, I'll put a bunch of links. I'll put a link in the description to this one just so you can see what it is. But they range in price and kind and things they do. and you know, figure out which one works best for you and your truck. On the brake controller, every, every one is different, so please consult your manual on how to use it and how to hook it up. Um, also, this, con this connector is different for every uh, truck out there. Usually what happens is you can buy them that are already attached to a, a connection that's attached to your truck, but I had to wire it up. So this, this connector is actually wired up to this brake controller so I can use it for the U-Haul truck. There are many specific things that, that go with it with the way you're supposed to mount it. It can be on an angle, but it's gonna be pointing the right way. In the directions, there was a phone number to call if I had ever had any trouble and I called. That's always an option if you need to call the manufacturer just to find out something like that, like, oh, the shape fits right, but it's not working. Definitely call the manufacturer to find out exactly what's going on. This brake controller, we're actually gonna put it in the dashboard of the U-Haul. This is a very specific thing uh, when it comes to U-Haul. We rented a 20-foot U-Haul truck that is their newer version. One thing you, you can know uh, about it being the newer version is it has this little pocket here with some change holders, and it also has a audio input, which for us is absolutely killer. We spend a lot of time on the road. But what you want is to have the 20 foot truck to actually have this part that has the little change pocket up here. The other, other end of this connector is actually in this dashboard. So what you're gonna do is pop this open. You just need a straight screwdriver and you just twist it to pop this off. You can hear it popping just like that. Then this comes out and look what's attached. It's actually physically attached to it. So it's just a little, a little piece that you unplug there. So it's attached to the back of the change part. That is actually the connector for this guy. You want to connect it like that. What you do in a usual pickup truck is attach this via um, a bracket that you can screw into the um, dashboard, but this is a U-Haul truck. You can't screw anything in. So what I do is I place it there and I take the actual manual and wedge it in so it stays. So, and the idea is that you want this, it, it, you want this actually pointing in the direction of travel. So you want it pointing forward, which is great which is what it's doing, and it can actually sit on an angle. So you gotta make sure you buy one that you can actually sit on an angle so it doesn't have to lay level. So it understands that that is neutral. Just a couple of quick tips on the actual brake controller. Is you can see here that it says NC. That means not connected. So make sure you understand how the brake controller works uh, when you hook it up and make sure you know if it doesn't work, like that NC says not connected, is what that means for this one. Make sure you understand what all of these numbers mean. 
before you actually take your tiny house out on the road. Consult the user manual and when in doubt, there's actually a phone number that on this one that I was able to call the manufacturer on how to do a couple of things and they told me how to do it. So I made it work. I call this the U-Haul hack. So it's the hack uh, into the dashboard that's really uh, the important part because I would absolutely 100% recommend a brake controller if you're pulling a tiny house on wheels at all. So anything that has brakes on the trailer, you need this. So this will connect through that connector I connected to the truck to that seven pin in the back, and then it'll connect straight to the trailer, which will make the brakes turn on. So all of that stuff is super important. And if you rent a U-Haul, this is the way to go about it. You want a 20 foot U-Haul with this newer dashboard, it has the auxiliary jack and that little change place up in the, up in the top here. So all of the 20 foot U-Hauls that are new are just like this dashboard. Alexis and Christian here of Tiny House Expedition. Click on the left or right to see more Tiny House tours and stories. And don't forget to click on our faces to subscribe today.